we got this. Oh, this car is possessed. Is it off? I don't know. Well, quit touching buttons. <laughs> Who has the keys? I don't know. Stop. What the heck is that, Okay, no one touch it. Everyone step away from the car. Dad got a new job, and it got me thinking, do you know what your dad does? Because growing up, people would say, what does your dad do? And I would be like, I have no idea. I don't know what he does, computer or something or other. Um, he was an engineer, but I wanted to ask the kids, do you know what your dad does? So Cooper, come here. I know, I know. You know? Okay, what does dad do as a job? He's a professor in exercise science. So you think dad is a professor? In exercise science. Okay. If someone were to ask you at school, what does your dad do? What does dad do? Mm, work out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what else does he do? Uh, he teaches students. Okay, that's a good answer. What does he teach? He teaches about math. Math? Mm -hmm. All right. Hi, Woosie Woosie. What does mommy do? Um, mommy. Helps you? Mm -hmm. What else does mommy do? Um, for me in my room. Cleans your room? Mm -hmm. What does dad do? I'm homie. He holds you? What else does dad do? What does he do for the family? Um, crazy. He goes crazy? Mm-hmm. <laughs> what else does dad do? Um, crazy. Plays hide and seek. Oh, you are so sweet. Is daddy really patient with you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Does daddy get mad? Not too often, huh? Does dad make good breakfast? Yes. Is dad home a lot or is he gone a lot? I'm home. He's home? Well, I'm glad you think so. I'd say it's pretty fair. Fair. Fair, home, and gone. Okay, oh boy, hi. Oh, all the kids want to sit on dad's lap. Yeah. So, dad got a new job, and he wants to tell you all about it. The kids weren't too far off track. He does teach, but he is not a professor. No, nope. And not he yet. does not teach math. Who said I teach math? Cooper. Cooper. Well, I teach you math here at he home. Teaches, oh yeah, he's a good teacher for the kids. Yeah. No, I've been teaching anatomy. So, Emma, you came to the anatomy lab with me. Remember that? Mm -hmm. And we, so that's what I've been teaching for a while while I'm still a student. How's exercise science? I am, te I am studying exercise right. science. No more bunny ears. Yeah, no, <laughs> bunny ears be gone. And so now I teach a different class. So I am an athletic trainer. I did sports medicine stuff when I first graduated from college. And so now I'm going back and I'm teaching some of those classes, which has been a really a big shift for me. It's a little bit of a change, um, but I, I've really enjoyed it. Hi, what? So actually what happened was a whole other department, the athletic training department, like somewhere where Lana does, doesn't walk along up on campus, a professor suddenly passed away and another professor kind of knew of Landon. So he was like, hey Landon, what are you doing this summer? Want a new job? So Landon, so he got Landon to co-teach with him hey. on this class. Yeah. So Landon does not do the anatomy lab anymore. For now, anyway. Yeah, yeah. for now. But I want you to read your reviews. From when I, oh, from yes! when I was a teacher in anatomy? So when oh, you, uh, when I went to college, there was a website I could find and it was like, you could read different reviews about different teachers, so you knew what you were getting into with these different professors. Um, and then anyone who's gone to college knows that at the end of a semester, you can rate your professor. So they rated Landon last year, and Landon took those reviews, and he took them to heart, and he goes, okay, how can I change these so I can make them even better? He made some changes, and you guys should listen to these reviews because they are like, Top notch. 
Okay, but we have to leave for church in like five minutes. So we're going to make this snappy. We'll read some of the good ones. We'll leave all the bad ones out. No, I'm just kidding. Was there any bad ones? No. No. I mean, there's some people that just rated me a little bit lower. You can't please everybody, right? So, but people who did leave, take time to leave comments. Oh my I'm goodness. sitting on you. <laughs> People that do take time to leave comments typically either have something constructive to teach you and that would actually help or they enjoyed your class. So, If someone at school were to ask you, what does your dad do? What does dad do? Work. Work? What kind of work? At school. Like, what kind of work at school? Um, read books like I do. He reads books like you do? Wait. Make. Makes books? Oh my gosh, yes! That's pretty close. I do a lot of writing, that's He for sure. writes articles and these articles get published in books in or journals, yeah, in yeah. journals. So yeah, he writes a lot, just like you. Porter writes a lot. If you didn't see his kindergarten graduation, go watch our video of his kindergarten graduation. He got the award for the best writer. This is brag moment. Landon doesn't love to do this, but I'm making him because I just, I love you and I want everyone to know how cool you are. <laughs> and so we're going to brag here for a minute about Landon. Hopefully, I mean, this is what, this is, I've kind of found my, my niche, right? I enjoy teaching and so hopefully this isn't like, this is, these aren't the first good comments I've, that I've had from teaching and hopefully they're not the last because I've got a whole lifetime of a career to be a, an effective teacher, but... Um, yeah, no, just lots of people saying very helpful, you know, we appreciated that he was prepared and actually cared for us. Stuff like, Landon was awesome, one of the best teachers I've ever had. He was extremely helpful and a great teacher. Landon is easily one of the best teachers I've ever had a chance to learn from during my time at BYU. He was incredible at explaining things. I see how this, like, I feel like... Don't feel goofy! He I know was it's gonna incredible weird. at explaining things, super patient with questions that we had, respectful of everyone, and genuinely kind. He helped create an environment that was very conductive to learning. Landon's a great teacher. He always answered questions and explains everything in a way that helped us understand. Landon is the man. Easily the best teacher I've ever had. This dude is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I would have to agree. <laughs> Landon is honestly the best. I don't know what I've, what I've done without him in this class. He has a great sense of humor and never seems to get fatigued, even after standing up and teaching with cadavers for six hours straight. He makes sure his students know the material the best they can and they're prepared for the exams. I respect the fact that the number one priority from day one was to learn the name of every student he teaches. I don't look at Landon as just my teacher, but a friend, someone I trust and who cares about me. Ten at, well, ten out of ten experience with Landon. We'll end with that one. There was lots of other ones, but that is true. Landon came home. He had all of the pictures of his students, and he was like, you know what? I'm gonna know every one of their names. And so when they walked into class that first day, he'd say, "Hello, Sam. Hello." whatever the names were and he was able to say them by name and they were just like what <laughs> anyway i thought it was cute lannon is an awesome teacher in the house there are so many little things that i like don't know or that i like mess up on or just helping the kids but he's always teaching us and i just love that about him okay brag moment over congrats yeah. on getting a new shift in new assignment well, making your resume wider, I guess. Oh, yeah. Can you help in that? So. Yeah. yeah, it'll be good. And I have a variety of educational hi. backgrounds. Yes. Hi, hi, hi. So I have a variety of educational backgrounds, so teaching in that variety is really effective and fun. Yeah. Okay, everyone yeah. go put your church shoes Back on. It up. Let's go to church. You have been in the tree house for the last, like, 20 minutes. Look at your church pants. They're all dirty. I love church you love church? That's good, but now you have dirty pants. Go on. Can they see if they can okay. find out my job? What's your job? Okay. What do you think my job is? Your job is to be the best big sister there ever was. Mm -hmm. Meaning you have to be a good example for the little ones. Right? That's a big job. That job is huge. <laughs> do you know what my job is? Being a YouTuber. Well, more importantly is being your mom.